I'll take a look towards the back of the building and right under the banner that says Space Vehicle Mock-Up Facility, you're going to see a white capsule surrounded by silver scaffolding. This is the Orion Command Module. Engineers and astronauts have been doing extensive training to prepare a capsule similar to this for the first Artemis mission into deep space in November. While the first flight will be uncrewed, they'll mark the start of our Artemis program, with crewed missions scheduled to begin in 2023. Orion built upon the design of earlier Apollo spacecraft. In addition to being autonomous and reusable, Orion is much larger and capable of carrying for astronauts into deep space. Now we take a look to the right of Orion, you'll see two of NASA's prototype human landing systems. The large two-story spacecraft with the gold legs is National Team's human landing system. Very similar design to the Apollo landers of the 1960s and 70s. The white cylinder directly in front of that with the giant panels is the alpaca, built by Dianetics. Alpaca can house six astronauts and allows them to stay on the lunar surface for up to one week. These two landers will not fly on official NASA missions, since the agency plans to use SpaceX's Starship Artemis instead. However, these landers have inspired several other companies to explore sustainable technology for space exploration. Now, we'll take a look on the far left side of the building, right next to the furthest left wall. You're going to see the blue scaffolding with an astronaut attached. Now this is known as Argos. Argos is a gravity simulator with a pulley and harness system that's able to simulate any known gravity that we can plug into the machine. So something interesting about Argos is that they can type in any specific gravity of any planetoid that they desire in order to train astronauts for maneuvering on uneven surfaces on another planet. Now as trivial as it may seem here on Earth, we do want to make sure that our astronauts are fully prepared for any uh, obstacle they may encounter. One such obstacle is knowing how to recover in case they ever fall down. Not only are the suits pressurized in such a way that it's difficult to bend your knees, but also getting used to gravity on another planet with rocks and sand and any other unstable surfaces, it makes it very difficult to get up. And we want to make sure that we do not waste any valuable time on another planet. Now, if you'll take a look underneath the silver frames closest towards us, you're going to see Valkyrie, a six foot two inch humanoid robot. Although NASA plans to deploy Valkyrie to distant celestial bodies, this is not its original intended use. Using a virtual reality headset, an astronaut or first responder can pilot Valkyrie to explore the surface of a distant planet or into a flood, fire, or other disaster zone near Earth to search for survivors and clear the 